10 things to do in New York. New York is an awesome city with different communities and neighborhoods. The best regions of New York are dotted all across the city. Visitors will get to experience awesome viewpoints, secret spots, gardens, and great landmarks. The stunning artwork in the Upper East Side is a must-see. Welcome, and let's get started. Here are the top 10 things to do in New York. Number 10. Experience Hell's Kitchen Hell's Kitchen has historically been one of the least visited areas of New York. Over the last decades, it has begun undergoing improvements, and it's certainly a great place for tourists. One of the coolest night spots to visit has to be Don't Tell Mama. Here, you can enjoy some of the best bourbon and live music every night. It is also close to many of the Broadway theaters. Just on the very fringe of Hell's Kitchen is The Vessel. Here, you get to see one of the shiniest art installations in New York. For a tasty lunch, visit Gotham Market West, where there is a massive food hall with loads of different vendors. You can grab any kind of food you can imagine here. Also, you can grab some unique gifts and souvenirs at Hell's Kitchen's Flea Market, which is in the heart of Hell's Kitchen. Number 9. Enjoy live music and concerts in Brooklyn One fascinating thing about Brooklyn is its large number of live music venues that perform everything they represent from traditional folk to songs like American Soul. The music of Williamsburg, National Sawdust, and Baby's All Right are a few places you might like, but this depends on the type of music you love and the size of the venue you want to visit. There are a lot of bars and concerts that go on in Brooklyn every night, and they make Brooklyn worth the visit. You will get some cool cocktail bars and eateries in the area of Williamsburg, like the Maison Premier, where you can chill out with a few drinks like their Adonis cocktail. Don't forget to also taste their spicy and dewy sausage. Coney Island is also a great and unique place to visit in Brooklyn. Number 8. Experience the Bronx The Bronx has a checkered reputation for tourists, and there are a lot of attractions to be discovered in this area. Buy some traditional Italian food from the renowned restaurants that line Arthur Avenue and East 187th Street. Ensure you taste the popular pork bracciola. Just be prepared to be so stuffed. Check out the wildlife at the Bronx Zoo, learn history at the popular Van Cortlandt House Museum, walk around the Bronx's Little Italy, and if you have enough time, plan an adventure at Everett's Children Adventure Garden. The New York Botanical Garden is a must-visit. It hosts unique exhibitions, several lessons, and seasonal programs. It offers an ever-changing landscape, and visitors can explore and marvel at the numerous beauty of nature, all within the city. Endeavor to make your trip on a Wednesday because the entry is free. Number 7. Take a trip to the Lower East Side Although the Lower East Side looks quite different from the buildings in the high-rises of Midtown, don't be fooled into thinking that size is everything in New York. The buildings of the Lower East Side might be smaller, but the entire area is a buzzing spot to visit and explore. This area has become popular for its artists, foodie spots, and a heap of history. Don't forget to visit the Tenement Museum to learn exciting things about the area. Also, many of the shops around this area sell loads of vintage treasures. If you're hungry, then make sure to walk into a restaurant and order some tasty smoked and pickled fish. Also, make sure to grab one of the tastiest sandwiches in the city. Number 6. Explore Midtown Midtown is the home to Times Square, a site that is unlike any other in the world. Make sure you visit the Grand Central Station to see the main concourse, which is a stunning and iconic piece of New York. If you also want to see an iconic building, you can head up to the top of the Empire State Building. It is located just a little further from the Rockefeller Center. Also, you can visit the Morgan Library and Museum. Most of the rooms are stunning, and it is worth seeing. Finally, you can get great cocktails in Midtown, and don't forget to taste the cheesecakes. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you are enjoying the content. Number 5. Explore Staten Island You can visit Staten Island for free through the commuter ferry that departs every half hour from Whitehall Terminal. With this ferry, you can also get up close to the Statue of Liberty without paying fees for the tourist boats in the Battery Park area of Manhattan. Also, you can visit the pretty quaint National Lighthouse Museum, but be careful if you're not into marine history or lighthouses because you might find this place a little tedious. Don't forget to have a taste of the piping hot and delicious pizzas while you are here. Number 4. Visit the beautiful artworks on the Upper East Side The incredible artworks in the Upper East Side are one of the things that make New York a tourist attraction. 
you get to see amazing art installations and galleries in every corner of the Upper East Side. Visit the Starstedt Gallery, Gagosian Gallery, Guggenheim Museum, the Alexandra Gallery, and the Met Brewer to see the seasonal exhibitions which are usually changed every few months. Afterward, don't forget to get some of the tastiest pastries and desserts, like a bagel with cream cheese and lox for yourself. Number 3. Visit Upper West Side The Upper West Side is one of the areas to visit in New York after Central Park. Make sure to visit the Metropolitan Opera House to see some of the performances. If you're an astrologist, then you should visit the Hayden Planetarium to discover the more galactic side of the city. You can also check out the American Museum of Natural History that's right on the peak of Central Park. You should taste some delicious Chinese cuisines like the supercharged dim sum and the chopped cheese sandwich before leaving the area. Number 2. Learn History at Wall Street and Tribeca This is the financial heart of New York City, so it's easy to assume that Wall Street is just traders and stockbrokers. When you visit the area around Wall Street and Tribeca, you'll get to experience one of the best places in New York. Once you are here, make sure to explore the Federal Hall and learn about its history. Interestingly, George Washington was sworn in as the very first president of the United States in this place. Also, if you get to the tip of Manhattan, make sure you visit Battery Park. This place was the first immigrant depot for people arriving at the newly founded republic. Don't forget to jump on one of the ferries to visit the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island also. Don't leave this Wall Street without tasting meals like mutton chop and pastrami on rye. Number 1. Take a trip to Queens Visit Queens for an opportunity to witness the New York Mets at their new home at City Fields. It's great to attempt some American sporting culture. Visit the New York Hall of Science, the USTA National Tennis Center, the home of Louis Armstrong, and the Museum of the Moving Image. Take a trip to the second largest park in the city to experience Corona Park. It is created for the 1964 World Fair. The park is not usually visited by visitors, but it offers a splendorous chance to get into the real nature of what Queens would be like before it was developed. Eat at the Queens Kickshaw. It is a unique eatery that is worth a visit. The eatery is suitable for brunch, and you have the chance to taste delicious foods such as Gruyere on rye or a cronut. Thanks for watching, and do not forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Kindly leave your thoughts in the comments section. Bye, and see you again.